Like it's giving biblical times, locust, plague, locust plague type stuff, okay? What's up good people and welcome back to another video. It's your girl D here. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I do lots of lifestyle content. If you hear whining, that's my puppy. I wanted to kind of bring you guys with me or bring you guys along as I just kind of do other just regular everyday life things that I haven't really shown on the channel. I don't think that I've shown a lot of grocery hauls on this channel and I thought that it would be kind of cool to show you guys how I shop or what I shop for at the beginning of the month. So the things that you're about to see is quite a lot, but mind you, I kind of buy things with the intention of having most of this last me for at least 30 days. Sometimes some of it lasts for more than that, which is great. Other things like produce and dairy, things like that, that kind of go bad more quickly. May have to get replenished throughout the month, but I will show you guys what I got. Again, don't mind the whining. He's just upset because he wants to be all up in stuff, but, um, and can't. So I tried to divide it up in different like sections. So I'll just go through it as quickly as I possibly can. Mind you, this isn't all the food that I will buy for, throughout the month. Like there's still quite a bit left that I have left to spend on groceries. So this is just the first shop of the month. This is typically what it looks like. And here's the puppy in question. Mom, help me, I'm in jail. I'm in jail. Oh, I'm in jail. <laughs> Hello. You upset? You upset? Okay, so let's start over here. So this is like all the stuff that's going to be kept in the pantry. So we've got juices here. I've already talked about Rhodes. It's the goat when it comes to juice. We've got some cookies here, some Oreos. I just tried these, these are pretty good. These little strawberry whirls, biscuits. I got some nougat, like I just got some little candy bits just to kind of snack on for a little bit. Some nougat, some, what are these, double hearts. Let's see, we have Caesar dressing. Oh, this is really good. I really like this um, when I'm making snacks. This green onion seasoning, chickpeas, black beans, diced tomatoes, coconut milk, soy sauce, pickles, evaporated milk, tuna, <laughs> coconut milk. I completely forgot that I bought this first and then got that coconut milk, but it's all good. I use coconut milk quite a bit. Uh, some sardines, some popcorn from Mabu. Mabu really likes these two, these bre breakfast biscuits. They're really, really good some mayo, and I think that's it for the pantry stuff. And as we move over here to like the cleaning supplies, paper goods, beauty stuff, toothpaste that I actually didn't need to buy, toilet paper, laundry detergent, paper towels, and I think that's it. As we move over here, we've got Lipton iced tea, we've got a case of Sprite, because these are the two that we love to drink, We've got a case of milk. This is like the best way to save money on milk because I'll keep this in the pantry and until we're ready to use it. So because like we drink coffee or if I'm baking or something that requires milk, I can just pull this out of the pantry, put it in the fridge, or just take it out of the pantry if I need to use it in something warm and it's good to go. Uh, so we're in the dairy section. So we've got some eggs, some Parmesan cheese, some ricotta, some cheddar, I got some sago pudding, which I think is kind of like tapioca pudding, yogurt, feta cheese, cream, sour cream. That's the dairy. Then we move over here. So this is like, the, these are still pantry items, but it's like rice and grains and things. So I got basmati rice and I also have brown rice. There's spaghetti and linguine. We've got this spirelli grandi. And then we've got tortilla wraps. I'm gonna be making some chicken fajitas this week. Then this is the produce. <laughs> Y'all know that I love to get my stuff from food lovers and this is where I got all of this stuff from. So we've got red onions, we've got lettuce, spinach, more pineapples. I may try to propagate these because my other pineapple is doing good. Oh, I also got some seed oil. This is the oil that I normally use. Like I use this every day, seed and extra virgin olive oil. But then because I'm going to make some hummus for my boo, I wanted to get some extra virgin olive oil and it's locally made. Mm -hmm. Back to the produce. We've got a bag of kiwi that I got from my boo because he really likes those. I think these are plums. 
or nectarines, I can't remember. Broccoli, because I'm gonna make broccoli cheddar soup. Some tomatoes, lemons, what's that, green onion, apples, herbs. So I got chives, basil, rosemary, and what else did I get? Sage, because I wanna make some like, I don't know, like sage potatoes or sage pasta or something like that. Bananas, grapes, both red and white grapes. Um, I think I already said bananas and cucumbers. And then I got a bag of peppers because like I said, I want to make some chicken fajitas. Then I got a huge piece of ginger. And I think that's it for the produce. And then last but not least, as we jump over here, are the meats. So I got these two party packs. There's a beef one here and I got a pork one here. And I figured these will be really good for me to use throughout the month when I want to make like, I'm going to make some carnitas. I want to make like a beef stew, like all sorts of different things. So I felt like it would be more cost effective for me to buy the party packs. I'm not exactly sure what kind of meats these are. Truthfully speaking, I think they're all kind of different. I got some sausages because I have learned like a way to kind of cook them because like before I was just cutting this and then trying to saute it in the pan and that just wasn't working. The last thing is streaky bacon. We've tried so much bacon and let me tell you, this is what happens when like you travel to a new country and you know that you're going to be there for a little bit, like setting things up, whatever. Obviously I buy a lot of food as you can see because it's more cost effective for me to do so than for us to go out to eat all the time. We can totally afford going out to eat all the time, but we just feel like it's just better to have groceries and, and cook. I mean, it is a lot of effort to try to come up with semi-interesting meals for every day and to actually cook every day, especially, you know, like when you're working and stuff. But at the same time, I'm still s saving money then when I'm going out to eat. Like our anniversary is coming up, <clears throat> which this vlog will be a part of, or this, this part, which will be a part of this vlog. But anyways, so streaky bacon. In my opinion, especially if you're coming from the States, tune in, turn your ears up, your eyeballs, whatever. Okay, get streaky bacon this in this package like this from Macro, okay? And the reason for that is because I find that this bacon, this Van Vingart brand here, you get the most bang for your buck. And cause this is one kg, this is like, like two, like between two, two and a half pounds, something like that. But that's the kind of bacon that we like. We don't like back bacon. We don't like shoulder bacon or anything like that. And those are much cheaper than this guy. Yeah, but that, that's my little grocery haul. So now I gotta put it all away. <laughs> that's the like not so fun part. But yeah, and I can kind of show you guys where I put stuff too. Cause like I said, I'm trying to bring you along with me in different things in the house, different areas in the house that I feel comfortable sharing. <laughs> stuff away in here and then I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, so this is looking insanely full and it, it never really is, but you can tell that there's a lot more, especially in this section. So you can see how we've got the juices, the teas, the sprites, the milks all lined up. Same with the beans and the canned fish, even some of the snacks up here. Cause we were trying to come up with a system to not only keep us organized, but also help us to know where things are. This section is probably the most bothersome because a lot of things are just in bags and I want to get those, what are they called? Food storage bins that will make everything look much neater, much more organized. And it'll also help to determine like when something is low, when I need to get more of something, all those things. Okay, so you can see the state of the kitchen now. Not much going on because I basically put everything away. I will put all of this meat away because I need to split it up, need to cut it, put it in the bags, all that jazz. This is where I keep a lot of produce before I'm about to use it, but it also depends. Like things like the kiwi and the plums I put in the refrigerator because those are just really good cold. They don't necessarily need to be in the refrigerator first. Like even the eggs don't even need to go in the refrigerator right now. Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog, 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 vlog. 
I don't think I told you guys. There are a couple things I want to update you guys on, but I don't think I'm going to put it all in this vlog because I don't want I don't want my vlogs to be boring. The future of this channel really is just trying to be a conduit of information. You'll probably hear that phrase quite a bit from me because I feel like that's the best way to describe what I'm trying to be on this channel, but also make connections with people. I'm not just trying to make connections with Black Americans. I'm trying to make connections with Zimbabweans, Botswan Bots Botswanians, Botswanians, you know, Mozambicans, South Africans, you know, and all the different types of people and tribes and groups of people that are within these different countries and everything so that's that's truly what I feel like YouTube is about I feel like YouTube is this really big community and social media and the internet has been a really great way for people to connect from all over the world and so that's segueing into probably like the highlights of 2023 because I realized that I did not mention this and I really wanted to mention this I just completely forgot so I try to be quick ignore that <laughs> you guys already know what's going on but anyway so, so yeah at the New Year's Eve party I was able to meet my brother Clantis and if you guys have been here for a while and have been in the comments for a while, then you would have seen a brother named Clantis. I can't remember Clantis's last name at this time. He's the only Clantis that be in the comments. And I feel like everybody knows who he is. He always has like really positive things to say. Like he reminds me of things that I forget about all the time. He gives good advice on things, especially like when I'm out and about doing things. I knew that one day we would meet. It's just kind of like when the stars align, we'll meet, you know, I'll meet my brother Clantis. And so we happened to meet each other on New Year's Eve when I think he was about to leave. And it was crazy because it was like, I kept hearing his name, but it just wasn't registering because you guys know that the neurons don't be firing off the way that they should in my brain, okay? So just as he's about to leave, I hear somebody say, oh, Clantis is over there. And I was like, Clantis? And it was like literally a light bulb moment. And I was like, this can't be my brother Clantis that be hollering at me in the comments. Like, I probably have more conversations with him than anybody else in the comments. There's another person, I can't remember their name. Like, there are a couple people in the comments that I'll just kind of kiki it up with, basically. And that's what I love about this YouTube channel. I don't see it as, like, a YouTube creator or a YouTube content creator and subscribers. I literally see Denise D and her internet fam. Like, that's what it is. So I was able to meet him. It was like the most wholesome meeting. It was just so great. And like he watches my videos and he comments on pretty much every video. And so it was really dope to be able to meet him because it's like, I meet people out and about, like I'll go to macro and I'll meet people and they'll be like, oh, hey, I know you're on YouTube. When are you posting videos? And I'll be like, don't call me out. I've been posting videos. I, I swear. It's so it's, it's awesome, but it's, it's awesome to like meet people and talk to them for a little bit, chat with them, chat up, chat them up a little bit and everything. But it's another when you have like consistent people in your community and you haven't met them yet and you finally get to meet them. Guys, you have no idea. Like that made my heart swell so much because you guys know that we've had an extremely stressful and anxious like year and a half. To be able to meet him literally on New Year's Eve, I was like, that's all God's timing. Like seriously, because I feel like God was like, you know what? I've been testing you a whole lot, girl. You've been doing all right. You've been doing all right. But I'm going to bless you with something very positive on this last day of this year. It was truly, truly a blessing to meet him. You guys see me ever out? Just say, hey, D. That's how I, I'll know automatically that either you're a friend or you're someone who watches the channel. I say this is the anniversary vlog, but you guys already know that he and I are... <laughs> Every time I see that in the background, I'm just like, oh, that's a damn shame. But look, you're just gonna have to get used to it. I try to keep it out of the videos because it's such an eyesore, but this is just the reality of my life right now. Like I say in my videos, we're doing what we can to try to address these, these uh, issues. You guys know that we're pretty low key, especially when it comes to big celebrations. We're not really big on doing extravagant things, even for celebratory things, right? So it was our anniversary this week. We've been married for two years. <laughs> So great we've been married for two years we've been together for four years which is it's been a blessing it's been a roller coaster for sure i mean you guys know that just because of the stuff that we've had to go through but nonetheless i am very very blessed and very lucky to be with this person and i was going to schedule like a massage like that's really all we want to do these days guys because like we just want to relax <laughs> we just want to relax so all we ever do is just massages and like i know that we're very blessed to be able to do that because massages are not cheap um, even over here they're cheaper than the states they're probably about 50 to 60 percent lower in price than the states they're still quite expensive you know if you just look at it in rands we're getting massages but i guess i can just say we're going to the spa because i'm not getting a massage i didn't want a massage although i could definitely benefit from one but i wanted to get a massage for my boo and i wanted to do a facial because y'all know that i love anything with skincare i love a good facial we're gonna go to the spa. We're probably gonna be leaving here in about an hour and a half. After that, we're gonna go to BGR for lunch because it's been a while since we've had some 
nice little burgers. I love BGR. BGR is so good. And I'm not really a big burger person. And then later on, we're going to go to this um, New Mexican restaurant. We've been to it once before because one of our friends told us about it. In a, it's in a Joburg South called Don Pablo's. It's so good. Bugs and stuff don't really bother me. And since being here, we've probably dealt with a lot more bugs just because of like proper unsealing of things and blah, blah, blah. But again, they don't bother me. It's just kind of like it happens. And we've been removing things that I think have also been homes for bugs. So they tend to just find their way inside, right? When I clean the pool sometimes, <laughs> I have to like, there's a lot of like pool maintenance that you have to do every day. So like one of the things that I'll do is go into one of like the baskets because there's several baskets that suck in like all the um, dirt and stuff from the pool. So I have to clean those out regularly. So there's this like section of the pool or like in the tile that the hose in the big pool feeds dirt and debris into. So you have to clean that out. <clears throat> but you open this thing up and like you can kind of see all the things that didn't get sucked in there and just kind of floated into that area because there's a hole there's a hole that goes to it so you can unplug and plug the hosing. So recently probably within the past like month or two I've been seeing these really big like cricket grasshopper things. And I mean huge. Like, I've never seen bugs this big in my life, okay? Ever. Like it's giving biblical times locust plague locust plague type stuff okay and so I pulled I pulled out maybe about three or four out of the pool they're terrifying to, to look at okay so there's like an outside area around here that my boo has to like tend to every day they like to flock there and I was like okay this is a little bit too common for me to not know what it is that we're dealing with so of course I googled away to see what it is that we were dealing with and we're dealing with what's called a park town prawn or another, another name they're known by is King Cricket. King Cricket is a perfect name for it because it is huge. Like, has to be at least two or three inches long. And when I was looking it up online, they said that they, they kind of range from, like, two to three inches long. And they are these, like, striped, red, yellowish. And I'll pop a picture up on the screen so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. My South African folks probably are like, oh, yeah, Dee, we, we deal with these all the time. But it's like, I never seen a bug that big before in my life. <laughs> massages going to bgr for lunch the life of a dog mom don't don't mind this if you see stains on the carpet it's most likely from when that came down because everything was ultra covered in dirt i explained that in that vlog yeah let me set this down and we can kind of chat let's show everybody how big you've gotten he's got to be at least 15 pounds it has to be but anyways, so we went to Aronia Day Spa, which we've been to a couple of times. I think it's, this is our like third time there. And I got myself Opt, Optify, I think is what it's called. Optify Facial, which is like their basic facial. And then I booked my boo a deep tissue massage because stress, his back, all that kind of stuff. Two things about this spa experience. This one was not as relaxing because for one, the room that you're in, bright lights. Thing is, this one was the most painful I've ever had. And I've had extractions done professionally, doing it myself. Sometimes my boo will do um, extractions on me. Like, so I've had varying degrees of pain when it comes to extractions. But y'all, this was the most painful one. I mean, painful. And I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. This took the cake. So like she's like, you know, had already cleansed my face. She's kind of assessing my face. I can feel her hands. She's like really delicate and gentle with my face, right? Sorry, I keep having a wedgie. And it's like she's touch touching me. Like some places like up here, she would kind of use the tool. It's a little like a lot. And then all of a sudden it's like calm, right? Nothing's happening. I'm thinking she's done with extractions, right? She's touching my face down here. I'm thinking, okay, maybe she's going to do something down here. She does do something down here. Ooh, that hurt. 
but when she got to my nose, y'all, it was like she just straight up was scraping blades across my nose. Oh my gosh, it was so painful. It was so painful that I started to tear up and I know that some tears fell out of my face. And up until that point, I was pretty much like asleep. Like it doesn't take much for me to go to sleep because I'm perpetually tired. It was like, <laughs> it was so painful, that part. But everything else was perfectly fine. It was very gentle, very kind of standard basic facial, which was fine because I just wanted to treat myself for an hour and all that. My boo said his massage was pretty good. But the highlight of kind of today's very chill kind of anniversary celebration was I came out of my treatment and I was about to go into the locker room to get changed. Who do I see? Nikki and Carla. Y'all already know who Nikki and Carla are on YouTube here and they're also some close friends of ours. And so we got to chill with them and it was crazy because it's like, Joburg is a huge city, right? I mean, it's not New York City big, but it's still a big city but it's also, a, it's like a small world at the same time. You know what I mean? Like you're going to run into each other in different places. What the heck? Like I was so excited because I'm always excited to see them because they're just such wonderful people. You know, they're like family to us. So we got to see them. They're getting treatments done. They're probably done by now, but they were getting some treatments done and um, having lunch there as well. So we got to chill out with them and just talk to them a little bit. So after the spa, we went to BGR, which is another one of our favorite places. And I've talked about them, I'm pretty sure before, but if not, they're basically like, they do like American style burgers. And if you've ever had like In-N-Out, Shake Shack, Five Guys, those type of places, that's very similar to what the food tastes like here. It's very good. It's like the best burgers that we've had so far. Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. I hope this doesn't fall. You guys are sitting on top of the, what's it called? Bed frame. But yeah, so I just wanted to close out this vlog really quickly. It's pretty chill. I'm hoping to kind of ramp things up in the coming weeks because I have a lot of like activities and things planned. Like they're kind of spread out so that I'm not like wasting all of my money on activities and and you guys know budgeting things out because that's just the way that I do things. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get up to some really fun things. I'm also trying to get more comfortable vlogging in public and it was funny because like when we went to BGR, because I don't do this for a living, it's very difficult for me to just like want to pull out my camera even pull out my phone to just like start vlogging and stuff I was like you know what I have to start vlogging or I have to start vlogging like the places that we actually go to that way I can like visually show you guys where we're going and all that kind of stuff when we got into BGR like literally where we had just finished ordering I was like oh I should probably like film the outside of this or just like a little bit of it so that people know what it looks like when they if they haven't uh if they have a desire to try this place out because it's really, really good, really good burgers. We did go to Don Pablo's for dinner and it was fabulous as always. Look at this cutie. Fire don't burn me, I burn fire. <laughs> But because we were so full from the burgers, we couldn't really eat much because we had some cake from Chateau Gateau after we, when we got back to the house and I couldn't even finish my slice of cake. Like I'm still full. But at Don Pablo's, we got the exact same thing that we got the first time we went there, which was a couple of margaritas. We got pulled pork nachos, super good. And then I got the like chili con carne bowl. And then my boo got chicken fajitas and all of that. But anyways, my battery's about to die. Thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this super, super chill vlog. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.